Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm glad to have you with us for NBA basketball. It's a Saturday presentation of the NBA. It's Kevin Garnett and the Boston Celtics going up against the New Jersey Nets. And that's it for us in the studio. To call all the action, let's go out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the show. I'm Luke and and this is NBA 2K12 Nets Association. You guys have been asking for it, and I am doing this once again for you guys. You guys are amazing, and and and, and that, that's really why I'm doing this because this, is, this it was so fun to make these videos that I had to do it again. I had to do it again, and like I said, this will be out Thursday. So hey, you know what? It's Thursday, and guess what? This is out. We're going up against Boston Celtics, and if anyone's been following this association, if any of you guys are still with me, um, this is a tight race for the Atlantic Division right now. Uh, we're one game behind, we're two games behind them going into this game, and it is insane. You guys see the lineup, nothing's changed, obviously. Uh, I haven't made any big trades or anything. So, we're set, really, like, seeded-wise, in terms of the conference, but the Atlantic is what we want. Boston's ahead of us by two games. If we win this game, we are behind them by one game as Ray Allen gets ready. Remind you guys again that this is brought to you by Conejo. Conejo's newest clothing line. Definitely go check him out. He is the distributor of sports clothing, so he uh, sponsors these NBA videos and MLB videos, so go check him out. The link is in the description below. And without further ado, <laughs> let's do it again. Here we go. So the game starts off. Uh, with Damian James hitting the three, showing him that we mean business with a big old three. So now we are leading by uh, three to nothing. And then D. Will gets a brick. Like, oh my gosh, I think that was only because Rondo was on him, but it doesn't matter. And then Rondo gets Ray Allen in the corner. And <laughs> anyone who watches basketball knows that's money. So it's 3 3 at this point. But then Marshawn Brooks hits a three. That's cash. So it is 8 to 5 at this point. We are holding on this lead. Um, but then, obviously, Kevin Garnett, he loves that mid-range shot, and he keeps on hitting it 7-8 to eight at this point. But you know what? Lopez is like, you know what? It can be red, and it's still going. That's how good his jump shot is. He hits this, and we're trying to stop the inside game. It's now working out for us. Lopez inside with a little bit of finesse. 12-9. to nine. And just so you guys see the Eastern Conference, we're pretty much set. Like I said, there's, there's two games left. Uh, this one, no, three games left. This one, and then two more after this. And we have one more game against Celtics. That's why I'm thinking, if we win this one, it's huge. Uh, but this is basically set. So we're, we definitely are guaranteed, I think, a playoff spot. But you know what? Forget the seeds. I want to win the Atlantic. So that's why it's so important. And then the first 17 to 15, we're down by two. But D. Will is going to fix that now. It's 17 17 with his signature mid range jump shot. We're going to a sheet, a beat baby, a big signing. Uh, he probably won't be there next year, but it's a big signing now. Uh, and then he uh, gives us, ties it up for us. And then Love, as you guys see with that little layup, ties it 21 21. And then Bass, shot clock violation. That's the defense we need to play on them because they, they have the shooters. Got to get in their face. Got to get in their grill and make plays. Courtney Lee for three. Yeah, that was a big signing, too. He hits the three here. 26 to 23. We have a three point lead. You know what? Let's build on this. Lee, if it works once, do it again. Lee, Courtney. That's money every time. 29 to 23. We are building this lead. Ray Lippin Allen hits a three. 26 to 29. Insane. And then Kevin Garnett jumps the pass. It's his mid-range shot, that signature. And that's something that I like about this game. His signature it really does look like Kevin Garnett hitting that. Lopez inside for two. 31 to 30 at this point. Ray Allen. Uh, clock ticking now. That's what I'm talking about. Guy getting his face. We do get his face. It's a wild shot. It's an air ball. Shot clock violation. And we get a stop. And like you said, you guys, you guys see the score. 30 to 31. It's so incredibly close. Looking for something here and uh, breakaway to end the quarter. 32 to 31 by Ray Allen. Hits the fadeaway. That is how halftime is going to come. So, obviously in the first half, you guys. Got a great game big, progress. big now play by Ray Allen. HP. Ray Allen is hitting those streets. We've got to get in his grill. What worked was cutting off the passing so lanes, getting up the in front, and making them, making them not really, you know, right drive now. the ball as much and come inside on us. And really, I mean, obviously there were shot clock violations, but that's what we need to have happen. So in terms of our side, obviously Darren Williams is going to get the assist. He's not getting the points in this game, but he's definitely dishing the ball. Obviously, you see here Lopez inside, giving the ball to Lopez. Farmer also doing a good job distributing. So our point guard is doing a good job, but our other players need to hit shot. You guys see D. Will, 2.6 assists. 
Kevin Garnett, 10 points without a fadeaway. As the third quarter begins, Steve Will actually loses the ball to Ray Allen, and Ray Allen, hey, he still got up to his age. He goes up for the big old slam. So, congratulations, Ray Allen, on having pump up shoes for giving, giving you a little mm, dunk it there. We go to Lopez inside, 33 to 36. Uh, their lead is increasing. We need a big play by Lopez inside. 35 38. Still looking for some. They keep going inside, and that's not a good idea. We stand strong. We stand strong. D will. Mid range shot. That's money. 37 to 40 at this point. They go inside again, and yeah, Kevin Garnett gets position. Throws it down. Doc Rivers loving it. Breakaway. And uh, Marquise Daniels is on the higher reel. L O V E. One, two, three. Count it, baby. Still in this game. 48 to 43, and then Marshawn Brooks wide open, misses it. Lopez, put back, misses that too. This is getting out of control here in the third quarter. We cannot make buckets. And then mid range shots are killing us. Second chance opportunities for them are killing us. 50 to 43. We go to Lopez inside, 45 to 50. Uh, again, defense making, making the plays, getting in their face, and another shot clock violation. So we are playing really, really good D on them, and that's giving us opportunities to tie the ball game up. But turnovers, turnovers, turnovers are still killing us. Another breakaway slam, 52 to 45 is how the third quarter is going to end. So obviously, we're in trouble. All right, Sly is trying to keep the fans in it, but the fans are like, man, this team sucks. It doesn't look good for the playoffs. We need to enter the playoffs. Uh, we're still I know. getting underway here. You know what I mean? It's so obviously the spike spark of the game. You know what, Doris? I'm sick of you. I'm taking this over, right? The spike spark of the game obviously goes to about the Celtics for the great play. You know, and, 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 and if you guys want to hear Doris, then you guys can hear Doris. All right? Because she's talking to me. But at the end of the day, they get spike spark of the game because they got the lead. And that's the spike spark of the game anyway. It's kind of dumb. Let me take it out. Okay. They drive inside, but again, great D and Sarge, 45 to 52. And again, they come inside on this end. It's not working. A great block right there. 52 to 45. We see Brooks for three. Count it, baby. We're still in this. Gets New Jersey on their feet. 48 to 52. And then Paul Pierce. The truth goes inside for that one. And a big slam. Take a picture. That's for you, Candace. Williams goes up strong with it and the bucket, and all he needs to complete three point play is a perfect release field goal, which he does. 51 to 54. Shot clock winding down, forcing him to make a crazy shot. Does not go in. And that was Ray Allen, too, so that could have gone in. Um, but their lead keeps increasing. We need to make a big stop again. Well, with the great defense on Kevin Garnett. 58 to 51, looking for a big play. Darren Williams looking to Williams step up, be the hero that he is, and he does become the hero. Oh my gosh. 60 to 54, looking for a big play. Lopez take a picture. Inside. 60 to 56. Golly, they keep coming inside. It's not working for him. They can keep doing that for all I care. Damian James for three. Count it. Guess what? We are down by one. We are down by one point, looking for a big play, and obviously they're starred. It's a little float or whatever. L O V E one two three. Not able to connect with it, but D Will gets the rebound, kicks it out to Marshawn Brooks. Marshawn, baby, hits the three. 62 to 62. New Jersey's going absolutely insane. You guys see the assist. That's something D Will has been doing really, really well this season. It's getting the points. Obviously, get the points. He gets the assist. You guys saw that. So if that can keep working, then we can do a very, very good job. And that's a charge. Doesn't matter. I switched to Lopez. Looking for him to go inside. Clock still ticking down here. And force a bad shot. Oh, no, didn't even get a shot off. Shot clock violation. So we get the ball with time ticking away in the fourth. D. Oh, my gosh. He misses a wide open mid main shot. That's usually money. It doesn't go down. Ray Allen gets the three. Wide open, does not make it. 62 to 62. Clock ticking down. Last play of the game. I gotta call time. I gotta call timeout. Fans are just going absolutely insane. Jay Z's over there kissing Beyonce and stuff. This is absolutely insane. You guys see the points again. Like I was saying, D Will getting the points and getting the assists. Now, what we need is we need some more play out of Kevin Love. Obviously, it's hard for that. Hard to really use him because he's on the three point line a lot. But coming up big. 
This game is the beast from the east. Whew. Brook Lopez coming up big in this game. We're looking for him again here. As the game closes, tick-tack, tick-tack, looking for a big play to end the game. Give us the lead. Wide open mid-range. Hit this. Yes, 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 yes. He hits it. D will give us a two-point lead. And then a ghost foul. Okay, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to pause the thing, rewind, and see exactly what happened. Because it looked to me like that was not a foul. It looked like Ray Allen kicked Damian James with that little fadeaway. And that was called contact something. But obviously, he's a great free throw shooter. He hits both of them. 64 to 64. We get one last shot. The will! Uh, he gets fouled, but obviously he doesn't get the call. So, over time, this is the books, you guys. This, this, this is a crazy points. game. I mean, really, like I said, this is for the Atlantic block. Division because we got one more game against them. Uh, we got two more games left. One of them against some crappy team, I don't know. And then, <laughs> I know what team it is, but obviously. So, we start off with the OT. Give it to Brook Lopez. He gets an easy bucket. We got a two-point lead. And then, obviously, the pressure, the defensive pressure on the defensive side. And then, look at Brook Lopez. He got taken out. So, obviously, Jamal New does not know how to play anything. <laughs> Any kind of bad way to retire. And then, D. Will coming up strong, being the star that he is, 60, 68 to 64. And then, charge. Love getting in position. Going the other way, baby. Everyone's on their feet. Looking for a big play. Lopez gives them what they want. A dunk 70 to 64. We are pulling away at this point. And then big defense play again. Again, makes them have to foul us. We are in a good position right now. All Damon James needs to do is hit free throws. All right, so he bounces the ball a couple times. He's hearing the fans support him. And he misses the free throw. All right, so. Come on, all we need is one. Just hit one free throw slightly early, and it bounces off. So we are in trouble at this point. They got a breakaway, and they get fouled on the other end. So that's what I'm going to do at this point, okay? As Roger uh, Rondo hits the first three throw, is I'm taking Damian James' bum ass out of the game, all right? Because I'm not playing that. If you can't hit a slightly early, slightly late free throw, I'm not on my team. All right, we're not playing right and now, so we get to see take his ass out. Uh, luckily, Roger Rondo misses the next one, and Love gets the rebound, and he goes to the line. Love, a great free throw shooter, looking to ice this game 65 to 70, and slightly early, but he still goes in. So, David James gets his butt on the bench, because I'm sorry, if you can't handle the pressure, man, you're just not going to play in the fourth or an OT. They're bringing Williams. And 71 to 65, correction, 72 to 65, 24.4 seconds left. Looking for a prayer, and it goes in. Are you serious? Paul Pierce, Mr. The Truth, the, does hit the three. They ended up fouling Darren Williams at this point. Darren Williams hits the first one. Ray free throw shooter. Been clutch for us all year. I won them the chance MVP if they didn't. So, uh... He hits the next one, 74 to 68, and obviously they are looking for some type of prayer, and it's not working. They're looking for a three, but we're cutting off all the passing lanes with our great D, and they have to just fire up a crazy um, wide-open shot from Mondo, and it goes in, but it doesn't matter. 71-74 is the final, so we do edge out a win in overtime in front of our hometown crowd, so we gain uh, the one game on Boston, which means that we are now behind one game, one solo game for that division title. That's crazy, considering the fact that we don't have that good of a team. If you look at the, our, our team right now, obviously we got Love, obviously we got Lopez, who was the player of the game, who came up real, real big. That mid-range shot in the beginning of the quarter, uh, the, the first quarter was huge, and then it was just a beast inside. Obviously, he has a, he has a size. He's been physical down there. He's not got as many boards as I want him to, but if he can just keep putting up those points, keep getting those putbacks, keep you know being a defensive stopper down low. We're going to have some fun with this. We're going to have some real fun. But like I said, we gain, we gain a game on Boston. We got two games left. And obviously, you guys are going to see the last game for Boston. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully something crazy happens. You never know. You never know. I I, I haven't played it yet. So I'm not going to – I can't tell you guys anything. Uh, we do obviously make the playoffs. So we get that. And it, I'm just going to show you guys this real quick. Eastern Conference. We have six, we have succeeded in our goal for the, for the playoff picture, obviously, for the birth. But you see the Atlantic Division one game away. We play Memphis, I think, and then we play Boston. All right? So that Boston game at Boston could be 
huge. Could be huge. Whew. All right, guys, that's it. Like I said, these are there's a schedule now, and the schedule's in my MLB video if you guys want to see. But NBA is back, and I'm so excited to be doing this. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, there's still some people here. Let 5-0. I'm out.